Hey everyone, it's Brandy from everyoneandthensome.com and I wanted to come to you today to talk about Stephen's ministry. Um, through this YouTube channel and this blog, I'm going to talk a lot about homeschooling and about parenting and so many other things, but something else that I do and I'm quite passionate about is Stephen's ministry. And so I want to take a moment to tell you about how I got involved in it and what it is and why it means so much to me. So. This is the manual. This is actually the second manual of the Stevens Ministry Training. And the class is, what are you doing? You need some help? We're gonna come to this here in just a second. Why? The class is 50 hours long. That was spread over the past several months. But my association with Stevens Ministry began even before that. <laughs> it's a Bible verse on there. Um, in my introduction, I mentioned uh, that I had a son with special needs. Well, last, probably March, March, April-ish, he ended up going into the hospital. And he was in the hospital twice. He went in for a week and then came out and got put back in the hospital and was there for three months. And any parent who has been separated from their child knows that it was excruciating. It's too hot. Um, the only hospital that could take him at the time was five hours away from my home. And I could only visit him for one hour a week. So every Saturday, I would hop in my car and drive four or five hours away, see him for an hour, and then drive straight back because I had Samantha and Daniel still here at home. And emotionally, it was very trying and, um, you know, it was a very difficult time for me. About that time, I saw a flyer in our church for the Stevens Ministry. And what Stevens Ministry is, is they are I hesitate to say counselors because they're not counselors. They're lay people in the church that have received specialized training in order to walk beside people in times of crisis and times of difficulty. This could be during an illness, during divorce, during financial, whatever troubles people have in their lives, Stephen ministers are there to walk beside you through it. And with my son in the hospital and um, a toddler, or, well, near preschool, a three-year-old and Samantha and everything, you know, I needed something extra. I had, was within just over a year of having moved here, so I didn't really know anyone. And I got connected with the Stevens minister. And I can't tell you how much that helped me through that. And I met with her once a week, and you know she was just a a listening what? ear. She listened to me. She I'm not gonna say she cried with me. I'm not much of a crier, but you know she let me pour out my pain to an understanding person, and then we prayed together, and we talked about God, and we talked about Joshua, and we mm -hmm. talked about everything, and it made such a big impact in my life that. As I thought about all of the other things that I had been through um, over my life, you know, God put on my heart that this was something that I wanted to do for others. And so when the call came that there was a class for Stephen Ministry starting, I signed up. And I've been going to that class now for several months. And last Thursday was our very last class and now you know now I'm standing on the threshold of beginning supervision groups beginning additional training they may have and possibly getting my own care receiver Stephen ministry really has five tenets that's important to them Stephen ministers have to be compassionate they have to be full of faith they have to be skilled they have to be trustworthy because everything in Stephen Ministry is confidential. Everything that goes on between a caregiver and a care receiver is confidential. 
and they have to be Christ-centered. You know, we have to remember that we can't fix people. We can't solve problems. You know, God is the cure giver. We just help that along. Not really help that along. We, we walk beside people as God works in their lives. And that's a huge distinction from professional therapy and professional services. And, you know, I have to say that we don't deliver professional services. And one of the parts of training... One of the pieces of training that we get is how to recognize the people that we can walk beside and the people that may need more professional help. And I mean, it was a very rewarding training and it's a very rewarding journey and I can't wait to get started on it. And I wanted to share with you one thing. My last class, last Thursday, we, okay, I'll get you some in just a second, okay? All right, I love you. I love you too. We had to draw an avatar, that's what they call it. We had to come up with a Bible story or a Bible quote that to us, exemplifies and personifies what Stephen's ministry meant to us. Well, I'm, I gotta show it to our friends. Should I show it to our friends? Yeah? Do you want to tell them what the verse was? What's the verse? Be kind to one another. Be kind to one another. To be kind Be kind to one another. And build. And build. Each other up. Each other up. Where does that come from? A Bible story. It was a Bible story. Do you remember what verse it was? What verse? B. Mm -hmm. First. That's the young Indians. Five, That's right. So the Bible verse that I chose that to me personified Stephen's ministry was be kind to one another and build each other up. That's 1 Thessalonians 5.11. And here's the picture that I... I'm not an artist. Let me just say this. Here's the picture that I drew. This is a box full of God's love and God's whole hearts. And this is the Stephen's minister. What's this? The whole heart. And this is a care receiver whose heart may be broken or in pieces. And see this person's crying. And a caregiver is sharing the love of God. Oh no, his book's broken. Yeah, his heart's broken, but look. He's getting a new heart and a renewed heart because of God's love. And I think that's what Stephen's ministers do is they share the love of God with people who are hurting. Heart. That's right. But what is he getting? A new heart. A new heart. That's right. And so I finished my class and I can't wait to start the journey as a Stevens minister. And I encourage you to, you know, find out if there's a Stevens ministry program in your area or in your church where you live. And, you know, if God lays it on your heart, join up. Or if you're in need, call them. You know, everyone needs somebody to walk beside them. So, that's what I have for today. You want to say bye to our friends? Bye, friends. We got to look at them. They don't say bye to the back of your head. Say bye, friends. Bye, friends. And we'll see you later.